Starting next week, last time GK was 4-4, four four, heading into Week 9 was 2013. Lutheran dealt with this last year and beat Bago to reach the postseason, and they even got a first-round win. Let's see how this one plays out. Crusaders lead 13-6 in the fourth. We'll start with the good stuff. Brady Brewick takes it in for the one-yard touchdown. Cogs missed the extra point, though. Important there. Lutheran leads 13-12, ensuing possession. Gavin Sanders takes the snap and turns on the afterburners for a 48-yard QB keeper. Get on your horse, Woo! Crusaders. Now up 20 to 12. Cogs now with the ball, fourth and 14 from the own 46. 50 seconds left. Nathan Kleber airs it out, and Hayden Hodson Ooh. makes a catch to put the Cogs at the 20-yard line. I know it's a play of the week uh, nominee. Yeah, you know it. He's coming on Sunday. GK now, 10 yards away, 12 seconds left. Kleber takes it himself, and the Lutheran defense comes up with the stop. This is a good game. Absolutely. Crusaders become playoff eligible. 20 to 12 is the final there. Similar situation back in Rockford, four and four Oregon Hawks searching for their spot in the playoffs. Starting off with in the first quarter, the Hawks secure a touchdown. Oh, here we go. Sorry, I was getting a little ahead of myself. With number seven, Logan Weems running the ball down the middle, breaking through the Lions defense for the Hawks. First score of the night. Later, the ball is then returned to the Lions. Maybe, there we go. Where number 21, Jermaine Francis, turns on the Jets and runs the ball back for a 35-yard return to start the Lions' first possession of the night. That's that's quite a way to start your first possession, wouldn't you say? Yeah, really good special teams all around this year, certainly. Rocker Christian, no exception. Starting the second quarter off with the Lions trailing by 20, 27. The Lions' David Houston manages to wrap up the Hawks' ball. Carrier Logan Weems stopping their momentum. Uh, some good defense there. And ending off the second quarter, the Hawks' QB Jack Washburn chucks the ball all the way home, and it is caught by number six Griffin Marlott, bringing the score to 35 to nothing at the end of the half. In the end, the Oregon Hawks beat the Lions 48 to 13, securing their spot in the playoffs for the first time since 2014. How about that? Good stuff there. Next up, major matchup at the Harvard. We'll definitely see these two in the postseason. 8-0 Amboy looking to re remain perfect against 7-1 Polo. Opening drive for the Clippers. Fourth down inside the Marcos red zone. But oh. Noah Dewey, Dewey what he does best, snatching it away for the pick inside his own 10. Marcos can't do anything with it, though, and the Clippers come right back at him. Four-yard tutty from Noah Welchel. Two-pointer would be good. 8-0 Amboy here. Then up. 14 to six now in the second quarter here after they get another touchdown from a scoop and score nonetheless oh, by the Clippers. It. Doesn't get much closer to the goal line than this. They should have called Jalen Hurts, but Quinn Luffelman will still do Go the job for you there. Birds. Go Birds indeed. Clippers cap off the regular season with an emphatic 52 to six win. That's a good word right there. Finally you. for you tonight, five and three. South Beloit taking on Christian Life and Eagles win, win would likely put them in the postseason. Uh, Jacob Wilhite, far sideline pass to Trudane Peterson, just past the marker for a first down. Wilhite under pressure. Next, flicks to Noah Swerns. Whoa! Swerned by a Christian Life for a nine yard loss. Next play, our favorite number 23, Des Hampton, on the end, around, takes it all the way for a 6 0 Sobo lead. There we go, we needed a score. Cliff Caden Gray pass to Dylan Vistine for a first down next. This is the next drive, the Wildcat to Vistine, a gain of about six or seven. Oh, you know, nice get run a little there. fake. Yeah, there, there you go. You gotta, yeah, love good it. Run. gotta love it. Good run. South Beloit strikes again. Zwerns loving the far sideline for a big gain here. Oh, yeah, and you know what? He hey, almost broke, got past it. him right yeah. there. <laughs> Peterson next blows through the middle for a 12-0 early Indian lead. South Beloit hangs on for a 25-24 victory.